San Francisco 49ers Kyle Shanahan and general manager John Lynch met with local media today to have their end-of-year press conference. The two gave a big update on the quarterback position, including Brock Purdy, Trey Lance, and Jimmy Garoppolo, and they had a lot of interesting things to say. But let's start with the Brock Purdy update in regards to how he is managing his elbow injury. Yeah, I think he's continuing to... Um you know, get get some different opinions, talk to different people, which I think is smart. In an instance like this, there's a lot of smart people out there. You want to make sure you're thorough. He's continuing to go through that process. I, I think, uh, you know, the positive bit of news is that it, it seems to be consistent that the right approach is that one um, that, you know, takes about that six-month mark. Now, everybody will also say you never know until you get in there. Every surgeon will tell you that on every surgery. You know, you always like getting in to see exactly. The MRI tells you a, a lot of the picture. So um, they're continuing to work through that process, but but we seem encouraged by the prognosis that, that that's kind of where it's at. The six-month one, you mean the, the internal brace one? The correct, player. correct. If it is six months, I mean, that means that he'd probably be back in time for training camp. If, if that's the situation, are you – um, content enough with with Brock and, and and Lance being the you know the top two guys going into training camp, or would you be looking for a high profile veteran? No, we're content enough. As you can see, we are still waiting information about Brock Purdy and what he decides to do moving forward, if it's going to be surgery or if they're just going to use rehab to bring him back. The two also talked about Trey Lance and what they expect from him this offseason. Right now, as far as how you're going to approach the quarterback situation this offseason with you know, Brock and his rehab and, and where Trey is, I mean, how, how do you expect to handle this leading into training camp? Um, I don't think there's much to handle. One guy can't go, and the other guy should be ready for OTAs. So um, OTAs haven't been that consistent over the last three, four years since COVID. Um, they keep being a little bit more different each year, so it's not as big of a deal as it used to be, but it uh, sounds like we'll at least have one guy for it. Will Brock be the starter in training camp if he's healthy, or will there be a competition between him and Trey? Uh, the things I haven't even thought about at all. So um, right now we're just working on coaches and – um, I think that stuff will play itself out by training camp. I know this is hypothetical, but when you say you're content for those two guys, does that mean you would not be looking at signing a starter level veteran at all? Or I, I know we have two starters on our team right now that I believe we can win with. Um, so when you have that situation, you're not that eager to go looking around. There was also a big time update regarding the San Francisco 49ers quarterback the last couple years, Jimmy Garoppolo and his potential future with the San Francisco 49ers. Kyle Shanahan didn't seem to think that there's any possibility that Jimmy Garoppolo will return to the roster. I wish you guys could see Jimmy being back, and if so, what, what would that look like? No, I don't see any scenario of that. Yeah, no, I gotcha. <laughs> Kyle Shanahan also got a little spicy with this conversation about the quarterback injuries. Listen to what he had to say. I'm good. good. With all due respect to John's answer about quarterbacks, when you go through a season, obviously the number one topic heading into this offseason will be the San Francisco 49ers quarterback, and we will continue to monitor every situation as it plays out. Make sure to like and subscribe for more updates. Yeah, I think when you ask that question, that way I understand, but I think if you looked at the injuries, common sense would answer that question. Um, I mean, how have they gotten hurt? I mean, I'm sorry, Josh got a concussion when he hit the ground. So that's the fourth one you're talking about. I'm sorry, our quarterback got his elbow bent backwards on a normal drop back pass. I'm sorry, on a drop back pass, someone rolled up on Jimmy's ankle. Um, and then we have a dual threat quarterback who got hurt running the ball. So to throw all those four in that category, no, no quarterbacks got hurt when we had to hand it off the whole second half. So we can look into that. All right, guys, thanks. Thank you.